Hey guys, it's Matt and Lo. I'm here with Mary Kate Wilds. We're going to learn all about playing Zelda on this behind the scenes episode of Squaresville. So I asked Mary Kate to come over and uh, just talk a little bit about her character and just kind of go through the journey huh. of, uh, of Zelda. Oh, man. I guess maybe we'll start at the beginning. Mm -hmm. How did you come to be involved with Squaresville? Well, I had submitted online on one of the casting services that I use and you guys were using and came in for an audition. I really liked, you know, the script. The dialogue really spoke to me. You do a lot of auditions and it gets kind of stale sometimes and so when you get something that you really you know relate to right off the bat it's really exciting i think i was able to say in utero transporter beam yeah which a lot of girls couldn't do it was it was there was a test and i trust that we'll have some sort of in utero transporter beam by the time that i am so treehouse yes um, when we shot that, mm -hmm. people didn't know each other as well, mm -hmm. and I literally, I realized that we were shooting so quickly that, um, I, we didn't have enough to shoot. I realized I could steal another episode, basically. Mm -hmm. And I was like, here guys, go, we're gonna make this. Well, we definitely freaked out when you hinted that to us, and you were like, yeah, just look at it. And we were like, when are we doing this? And you were like, just look at in, it. In like two hours. <laughs> and we were like, what? But we're shooting those two hours also. Yeah. We're shooting something else those two hours, but you know, as an actor, it's just good to be knocked off your feet sometimes, and you have weeks and weeks and weeks to learn all your lines and to prepare everything almost to like, till it's dead, that if you're given something brand new, I know I didn't, if you look at the script, I totally messed up a bunch of those lines and just said, you know, yeah. the main gist of it, because it was really just me and Kylie and you and Bobby up in this treehouse not really knowing that that um, episode very well and just kind of trusting each other. And it is one of my favorite episodes. I think it is absolutely what the show is about. Where will you be? There. With you. Let's fast forward through the mini start stuff and let's talk about um, kind of really getting to dig in on the character, you know, now, like... We shot like a total of six days. I just can't tell you how excited I was. We just had so much fun. And I have said before, I really feel like, I, I don't want to say that Zelda is easy for me because she's not, but she's a lot like me. And um, there literally were nights in between shooting in November when we did shoot the big chunk that I couldn't, I could not sleep. I couldn't sleep because I was, it was like cursed. Had you read the, the had you read the scripts yet? <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Many times. We just have, I mean, we're freaking writing shopping carts around on set with each other. And yeah. it's so fun that I just couldn't sleep because I didn't not, I didn't want to be home. I wanted to be on set with you guys. So let's talk about, uh, let's dish a little bit. Let's talk about, like, um, maybe something that was particularly challenging for you. I didn't. You can exaggerate. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, guys. No, I really did for a while just kind of be like, well, I know I'm playing a high school girl, and I know she's like the weird girl, but I don't know if I, I'm, you know, I just don't know if I really know who she is. I do remember you freaking out a little bit. I really was yeah. on set, and I was like, I know these lines, and I'm, I'm sitting in the right place, and I'm saying them, but I don't know, you know, if I'm being a real person. Yeah, I think that, that maybe as a director... Um, like, it's very important to me that people have a good time and feel uh, connected on set, mm -hmm. but I will get my shot. Well, and it just was, for me at that point, I mean, less so now. Now it's more like specific scenes. I don't know if, you know, I'm attacking the scene the right way, but as, as a whole on the character, I really feel like I know who Zelda is now. And, and for me at the beginning, I just wasn't really trusting myself enough, mm -hmm. you know, because Zelda is very much you know a part of me and, and who I am and, and how I was in high school and I thought that I had to like make her this person this tangible thing and then I just kind of had to realize that I got the part because you know that's right. that's it's already kind of there. Esther this is important this is us deciding to be the people we want to be. So let's talk about the day that we shot uh, the PE yes. episodes. Yes so fun. Uh, so I remember being um, just in over my head in a major way actually because we had booked all of these extras and everything but I didn't 
just I just wasn't mentally there to know that like there were going to be a bunch of strangers in costumes through makeup running around on that field. It was crazy. And then having to direct also. It was so fun. You had your megaphone. Well, I, first of all, that day was crazy. I got there late for some odd reason. I couldn't find the place where we were. So I got there and there's all these people there. And then we get out on the field and you've got your megaphone and there's all these lovely, beautiful, wonderful people that I've never met who are coming to be background in, in a show that I'm in and that I That hasn't never, even launched yet, like no one's heard of it. Yes, I was just like, how are these people here and being so awesome to help us out and I've never had that experience where I was like, oh, I'm, I'm on this show and there's people that are, you know, playing extras for us and that's so cool and it was awesome it was so fun I really felt like I'm it glad made you had it, fun I was so stressed I'm sure that I'm sure that you were <laughs> but I felt like we were at school like we were at school and these people were our peers and our classmates and when Maxwell runs up and he's like yeah ladies pick it up you know and it's just like oh this is this is squares it was like we were at school but I was thinking I was going to be a student and then someone was like no no you're the principal <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming in, MK. Thanks for having me. Uh, if you have questions, leave them in the comments below and we'll talk about them. Uh, we'll probably have Kylie and Tiffany and David and Austin. The whole crew. The whole crew in here okay. at some point. So feel free to ask questions. Um, do you have any parting words for our, our fans? I just want to say how much this show has meant to me as a person and a human being over the past two, almost two years now that it's so exciting to finally get to share with you guys and to see how much you're responding to it because I really knew that you would and I just hope it keeps growing because it is absolutely so much fun for us and for me. It's just like a dream. So, thanks. Cool. Well, thanks guys. Watch the videos down there. Mm -hmm. um, if you liked this episode or even if you didn't, subscribe and uh, like and favorite this video. It really helps the show out in a, in a major way. We'll love you forever. Stay square. Stay square. I've never done this on the screen. Do it. <laughs>